thing for me, uh, in addition to the format of the band, because it's not quite a big band, it's not really a small combo, it's, uh, it's, it's in between that, so of course we, it's a little big band, and uh, so it's uh, two trumpets, one trombone, three saxes, piano, bass, and drums, and uh, we have a vocalist, of course. It's, it's a tight format and it demands very special writing and I think that's the thing that makes this band unique is that we have everything tailored for this format. We'll do like jazz concerts uh, with a lot of original stuff that was done for the band and uh, occasionally we'll go out and do dance dates and again we'll do a lot of the things that dancers are familiar with from the old days like the Glenn Miller, Count Basie, Tommy Morrissey stuff, but again rewritten for this format. It's not like we're not ripping pages out of a, a big band book, we're actually doing uh, stuff that's tailored for this format. And uh, it's amazing what you can do today, whereas it would take like 16, 17, 18 pieces to get a particular sound. Now with the very sophisticated writing, you can have six horns in the rhythm section and get a really tight big band sound and you close your eyes and you think you're listening to a big band. So for me that's the magic. Well, uh, my, my, actually my grandmother was a, a piano teacher and then my father of course, uh, the gene was passed on to, uh, to him. He's a saxophone player and band leader in Florida. So, uh, uh, and then uh, music was always playing in the house, and uh, particularly jazz, a lot of big band stuff. For the first, uh, I started out taking piano lessons, and then I, uh, my dad was very good friends with uh, Maynard Ferguson, the jazz trumpet player. So he used to take me down to see Maynard's band down in Birdland. So the minute I saw that, I said, you know what, I want to play one of those things. So uh, I started taking trumpet lessons, and uh, eventually, uh, Start forming my own band. Yeah, well, I, I've always felt that filmmaking is very much like music, uh, particularly the editing part of it. There's a certain uh, uh, rhythm, pacing, dynamics that it requires to, to really make a scene come to life. So I think that my background as a musician has helped me a lot in my editing, not only in terms of like, you know, editing the music for a particular scene or editing sound effects, but also really finding the beats and the uh, nuances and the thing that really make a scene uh, come, come to life. As a creative person, you've got to, of course, you've got to know the rules, you've got to learn the rules, and then you can establish uh, a certain freedom to break those rules and kind of stretch them and it becomes even more exciting. You know, we do that here with the music, and uh, we do, I do that a lot in, uh, in uh, filmmaking as well. The thing about music, the thing about anything that you do, is uh, if you love what you're doing, then that's a reward in itself. So, you know, as a young musician, you really just need to find, it doesn't need to be jazz, it can be hip hop, it can be anything, but just, you know, go into it and just find what you love and just and just do it. And that's, that's what I would recommend to young players, is just, you know, listen to the best and, and take what, you know, what really excites you and incorporate that into your own playing.